Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look in your currency. So at first glance it seems that nothing is going on. This market is calling in a tight range, but in in, in fact in reality it's really very interesting performance that we have currently, especially on the intraday charts and in the comparison with the United States dollar index. So here is where we have the major um, keys to understanding of the current situation. So uh, despite that upward bound has happened recently, I already uh, said that I have a really big doubts about uh, the, 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 uh, the potential of this bullish situation, bullish passion that still stands on the weekly chart. And uh, yesterday we said that, uh, well, we are not considering taking the new long position by far. So although we have discussed some scenarios, how it theoretically could be done on lower time frames, uh, these scenarios are still valid and theoretically you could consider it, but I will make some uh, comments to this. Uh, so maybe it will be handed to you um, how to deal in the current situations on the market. Uh, simply speaking, so if you have some pattern <clears throat> on the high time frames, it might be really clear no matter what the pattern is. So in the current situation, we have a grubber, but this might be any classical pattern, a godless pattern or whatever even minor candlestick patterns on the weekly chart, for example, engulfings and so on. And uh, if you see that the pattern actually doesn't perform well and stands at the edge of the failure, but still nominally it has not been broken totally. So uh, theoretically it's still valid. Uh, how better to deal with this such, such a situation, whether you should uh, skip this pattern, just ignore it, or still you could try to do this. Uh, to deal with this uh, setup. Uh, personally, I usually could take the position with this trading setup, but with the one necessary condition that entry process uh, led me to place really tight stop. So where the risk with this possible trade very small, or approximately 20, 25 pips, not more. So uh, we will return back to this question a bit later uh, on lower time frames. Now I just would like to show you a th few things on the higher time frames on the dollar index. So here you could see that market stands in tight range, return right back down. But if you'll take a look uh, and recall also our hand short expression, right? So it's important. I already mentioned uh, pre previously that the performance on the dollar index stands, uh, sorry, on the euro currency here stands absolutely different. So if on, on a spot market on a FX broker chart, you could see this spike then collapse in the sideways consolidation. On the futures, you see that all of them stands together. So in fact, here we're getting wedge consolidation. Wages are not a necessary reversal patterns. Sometimes they are patterns before the downside acceleration. So if forming on the wedge, it previously um, on, on Asian markets when it was uh, in the middle of the century, it, it was uh, mostly treated as a reversal patterns. But here it may sign, might be signed the growing pressure and then it could be resolved with a, a release with a really big downside acceleration. This is one thing that we have to be uh, watching for. Now, if you take a look at the dollar index, you recall our uh, hand and shoulders pattern, you could see what we have here, how it looks on the dollar index. On the dollar index, it is obviously has failed already. If your currency stands somewhere still around the previous shoulder, so if you take a look on the daily, here's the shoulder, here's market calling, yes, slightly lower, but in general around this level. On the dollar index is obvious signs of the failure, so market just keep going higher. I already talked about them. In the weekly pattern, we have the grubber that is still valid on the dollar index uh, right there. We, have, we haven't got any grubber on the weekly that corresponds to the pattern on the euro currency. The euro currency here has bullish grubber, but on the, euro on the dollar index, we don't have anything of this kind. 
So, and this combination, this cross market analysis, I'll just this is the reason why currently I'm actually a bit skeptical concerning the bullish background. Besides, on a 10 year yields gradually turning up today, tomorrow, grabber is still valid, but you can see this upper direction started. So, uh, this is all support affection for the dollar. That's why currently, as I said, uh, theoretically, you could consider taking long position, but this chance has to have really very low risk, but potential risk. So it's uh, some kind of gambling, but uh, related to the technical analysis. So on the lower time frame, there's another confirmation that maybe we could get some new, very where we stand very close to the possible downward acceleration, and this is. You can see that the recent performance initially we thought that it might be double bottom, but currently it clearly is taking shape of the triangle after this drop. So our market was not able to show any meaningful upper direction. Here's was fast upper downside action. Here's once again. And here this triangle mostly has the features of the continuation pattern. So I wouldn't be too surprised too much if we will get downward continuation here. <clears throat> Still, since market stands above this area, above these lows, Patterns that we discussed yesterday keep the theoretical chances to be formed. So now this is where I come into the process that I just discussed on the daily chart. How better to deal with such situations when you have the nominal pattern valid, but performance uh, makes it really weak and you're not sure that it definitely will work. How to better to do? If you still would like to take to participate in this step, the one thing you should to do is to find clearly bullish pattern on the lower time frame. For instance, now we stand on the hourly chart. By the way, guys, here is double repo that we talked about. Yes, they worked perfect, as you can see. So um, we stand here. What pot potential patterns uh, we could suggest? It might be, for instance, hand shoulders pattern, right? So it might be neckline. <clears throat> Left shoulder, market will keep going slightly lower. Head, right shoulder. Maybe it will be some kind of the butterfly, but you have to get something that clearly identify the invalidation point where you could hide your stop. And uh, this point should be relatively close. So for example, with this hand and shoulders, we theoretically should take the position somewhere around one or seven area that equals to this potential shoulder, right? With the stop somewhere below the head, if this patient will be formed at all, of course. And this will be very potentially small loss. Also, you could use this pattern as indicator of the validity of the bullish context. For instance, if this minor, minor patch, pattern will fail, you'll get the clear signal that uh, definitely it's going wrong, this current uh, bullish setup, and you could just think about the reversal of the position. Simultaneously, since you know invalidation point of this weekly grubber that stands uh, below this area, you could try to use stop sell entry order for example so you take taking the limit buy here if it working your stop selling will be unfilled mark because market will not touch it and you just will cancel it later but if for example your loss will be hit you could try to enter in position or you could manually just reverse it or you could use the stop sell order aiming on the breakout entry so when market starts challenging these lows you will take the position and you will participate in a possible downside breakout so it this is just uh, uh, most obvious example how you could do uh, could do this. Maybe you have some your own uh, advanced tactics for these uh, situations, but this just explains what we could do currently. So, in the current performance in general, as I said, it's really weak and not really good background for taking new long position. For taking the short position, um, you could try to do this in advance, of course, but uh, nominally, as I said, weekly grabber is still valid. Yes, maybe it will be failed, but currently, uh, just by the rules or, tra or, or um, training tactics that we use following the Chinopoly uh, background, there's no yet uh, clearly formed bearish context for the trading on a daily and weekly basis. For the daily intraday, yes, it is bearish, and you could think about taking the short position, but we're speaking mostly about daily chart, and here, this context has not been formed yet, but it doesn't mean that you can't take the position for the failure of this context, which I mean with the uh, considering possible using stop selling entry orders around 
one or six seventy five maybe close very close to this low so that in towards how situation stands on the euro you could see that despite market stands flat so lots of interesting stuff is going on right now on the lower time frames on intraday day charts and it's interesting to see what will happen in the nearest time i suppose that some data release or domestic product revision consumption expenditures will push market in one or other direction